What's up guys, this is Apple Info from johnsiphone.com and today I have a video for you on how to jailbreak iOS 5 beta 1 and I'm going to be doing this today on the iPhone 4 so um, currently you can do this on a few devices, iPhone 4 is one of them, not the iPad 2 though, just to let you know um, but basically what you're going to need to um, jailbreak the software is you're going to need to have your device on 5.0 beta 1 and then you're going to need to download Red Snow 0.9.8 beta 1 and you're also going to need to have the uh, 5.0 ISPW file so these two right here and I'll put those in the description so you can go ahead and download those so first of all what you're going to want to do is have your iPhone plugged in and um, once you've got that all done you're going to want to open up the Red Snow folder go ahead and click on Red Snow and before you do anything, um, please note that this is a tethered jailbreak, so whenever you reboot your phone, um, you're going to need to, or even turn it off, you're, you're going to need to reboot it using Red Snow and then boot as tethered. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, so once you have Red Snow opened, you're going to want to click on Browse. And you're going to search for the 5.0 ISPW, which is right there. It's going to process, and then it's successfully identified your SPW. Go ahead and click Next. Alright, so for you guys, you're going to want to click on Install Cydia right there. And basically, before you do, an do anything else, um, Go ahead and click next and you'll see right there that it tells you to turn your device off. So go ahead and turn whatever device you have on off. And just wait for it to shut it shut down. So this should be finished in a second. Alright, so once your device is completely shut off, um, what you're going to be doing next is you're going to be putting it into DFU mode. So this part is pretty complicated for most people, and um, basically what you're going to want to do is take your phone, just like that, and go ahead and click next. And that happens like instantly, so make sure you're basically paying attention to the screen and your phone at the same time. So now what you're going to want to do is click next, hold down the power button for three seconds, now click on the home button at the same time and go ahead and hold that until the time says so now let go of the power button and just keep holding on to the home button and then that's it go ahead let go of your power button and the home button and then red snow will do the rest for you So as you can see, you should be getting this icon right there, and that's all you have to do. So you can go ahead and click finish right there on your computer, and this does work for Windows also, so I'll put that file in there, in there too. And now basically you're just waiting for the iPhone to finish. Alright you guys, so the device is turning back on. Um, basically just wait for it to reboot, and then you should be pretty much set. Alright, so device turned back on, let everything load back up, go ahead slide to unlock and you should have Cydia right there. So now, um, the next thing you're going to need to do, um, usually you'd be finished by now, but for, to get Cydia fully working, uh, you should see it as like a white icon. So you're going to go back onto your computer, let me fix this for you guys, go back onto your computer, open up Red Snow again. Browse for 5.0 again. 
and then now what you're going to want to do is click next turn off your device again so go ahead and turn that off and then you're just going to click right here where it says just boot tethered so click go ahead and click that click the next button and you're going to do the same exact DFU mode thing like you did um, in the last step so go ahead when you're ready click next hold the power button hold the home button three two one let go of the power button and continue holding on to the home button and then once you see exploiting blah 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 you can let go of your home button and it's basically just going to reboot your phone one more time and Cydia will be fully working and now you get that little pineapple icon you can click finish on red snow and X all that stuff out and basically all you have to do now is wait for this to finish loading up alright guys so by this time you should now have the Cydia icon so as you can see right there go ahead click that and um, it's yeah I'm gonna ask right here click user don't click these ones or else you'll be confused trust me um, and basically that's it you get Cydia you can now add all your sources and all that good stuff so um, that's pretty much it for the jailbreak. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. And um, also, I'll put all the downloads in the description. So thank you guys for watching. This is Apple Info from johnsiphone.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video.